Today, I'll be giving a short presentation on understanding the 3D structure of Zion protein and Zion protein nanoparticle formulations in silico to optimize drug loading and delivery. Nanoparticles have proven to be an effective drug carrier due to their ability to passively target and sequester drugs to the diseased area. We hope to further develop Zine as a nanoparticle carrier for use in anti-cancer therapies. Zine protein is extracted during maize oil production in large and pure quantities. Zine protein is a promising candidate as a drug carrier due to its low cost, excellent biocompatibility and FDA GRA approval. Despite this, the research into the protein has not progressed significantly. There are currently no validated models for the protein, nor is it homologous to any well-modeled proteins that are readily available in the protein databank. With this research, we hope to create and validate an in silico model of the Zion protein. Here you can see a short graphical summary of our project which describes the creation and validation of our Zion protein model. We begin by using energy-based algorithms to create multiple models of our Zion protein. These models will then be ranked based on a stereochemical and energetic quality assessment, and the top models will be selected for further research. A filtered list of anti-cancer drugs will then be tested in silico via docking software analysis. Drugs with best and worst binding affinities will then be tested in vitro to validate the digital protein model. Our algorithms utilized energy-based ab initio protein modeling. Homology modeling requires significant sequence similarity with an already characterized protein. It assumes structure similarity based on the similarity of the sequence. Threading utilizes a similar homology-based method but only for specific domains of the protein. These two methods were not possible for the Zion protein due to lack of well-characterized homologous proteins. This is because Zion is a largely disordered protein and thus lacks homology with other proteins. Ab initio modeling instead utilizes basic parameters like bond stretching, angle bending, and dihedral torsion energetics to create a digital model of the protein. Energetic analysis was then performed on the top five models from each of the algorithms, one of which is shown on the slide here. One method utilized for this was the Ramachandran plot analysis. This plot represents all phi and psi angle pairs that are possible in a protein. Phi and psi represent the angles formed by the amino acid backbone of a protein as shown on the right. The colored area shows the phi and psi angle pairs that are possible in a protein, whereas white area shows the pairs that are impossible due to steric hindrance. This is the Ramachandran plot of the protein model shown earlier. The black dots represent the phi and psi angle pairs in our digital protein model. This plot shows that our model is sterically favorable because all but one phi and psi angle pairs fall within the allowed region. The disallowed pair may shift when placed in a different solvent. Quality model energy analysis, Q-mean, was utilized as the second quality assessment method for our protein model. Q-mean evaluates global quality of the model by calculating local torsional energetics over three amino acids from their structural descriptors. As shown, the majority of our model has high local quality score with few outliers. Beyond that, our model also fits in the middle of the Q-mean scores of non-redundant set of established PDB structures. An exhaustive list of anti-cancer drugs has been created and filtered for feasibility. Filters include size, administration methods, and more. The physical descriptors of these drugs have also been extracted. Next steps of the project involve analysis of these drugs against the top model from our energetic analysis. Binding affinity will be calculated via docking softwares like Autodock. Later, top 5 and bottom 5 binding drugs will be evaluated in vitro for their loading efficiencies. This data will then be compared against our ranking of these drugs to evaluate the prediction of our binding analysis and thus the validity of our protein model. The overall goal of our project is twofold. 
Firstly, we aim to progress research on zine protein and its nanoparticles by creating and validating an in silico model of the protein. We also aim to create a project pipeline for creation and validation of such protein models to be utilized in other projects and labs for the purpose of progressing research on promising but poorly characterized proteins. Future applications of the project also include studying the drug release rate on an in silico model of the protein to further characterize their interaction. We also aim to utilize Zion protein model to study our interactions with membranes and other proteins. This data could then be utilized to do experiment-guided protein design and modification of Zion to improve its nanoparticle function.